This right here is my off-duty everyday carry. It's an old Glock 22 Generation 2. This is an old police trade-in. All I have on it are Glock night sights, a talon grip for a tackier feel because it's a little bit slick if I don't have something on there. And I have a couple factory uh, base plate extensions for the Glock mag, so that way I have 16 rounds per gun, or per mag, rather. Uh, why do I carry this? Uh, you know, this is 2024. There's a lot of micro pistols out there that are done extremely well. I can have a red dot on it. I can have 18 rounds per mag, 20 rounds per mag, no problem. I have a light. I have all this stuff. Why do I carry this old thing? Uh, because it's what I want. Don't hesitate to carry old guns. If you want to carry an old gun, carry an old gun. Uh, look at guys like Paul Howe and Clint Smith here on YouTube. They do videos and they're well-accomplished firearms trainer. They have good histories. Uh, really smart guys. They have a lot of knowledge to pass on. And they talk about the importance of just training with the gun that you like and the gun that you have. Now, the reason I like the Glock 22 is I do still like 40 cal. I like 9mm as well. So... Don't get me wrong on that. 9mm is awesome, but 40 caliber is still awesome, and I'll explain why in a second. But 40 caliber, basic gun, it's a full-size gun. Full-size gun with a full-size caliber. I carry 180 grain hollow points. Uh, right now, these are golden sabers, 180 grain golden sabers, but I do swap out with Winchester Ranger Tees. Both good loadings, very good ballistic uh, performance. It's a full-size gun. I like bringing a full-size gun to the fight. If I need to be in a fight, I'd rather have a full size than a little micro. That's just me. I have big hands. I like full size guns. I always gravitate back to them. That's just me. That's just the way I'm built. Other people, the micro nines are the better choice, and that's totally cool. Um, 40 caliber. Let's talk about something. Uh, nine millimeter is, is awesome, and I have plenty of nines, and nine millimeter is a great caliber to get. I'm never going to knock nine millimeter. Uh, one of the arguments that people have against the 40, uh, especially when I talk to some other gun guys, and I go, why are you carrying a 40, dude? 9mm gets you more rounds, and I'm a little bit less recoil, and this and that. And they say, well, 9mm bullet technology has come so far, it actually has caught up with the 40. Yeah, it has. But think about it this way. All of the technology improvements that the 9mm gets to enjoy with bullet design, the 40 caliber also gets to enjoy. The 45 caliber also gets to enjoy. They don't just upgrade one bullet and one caliber and leave the 40 caliber and all these other 10 millimeter, nine, you know, 45, 357, all these other calibers uh, with old technology. They'll upgrade it across the board. So not only are you get an increased 9 millimeter technology, but you're also getting increased 40 caliber. So the 40 caliber is doing better now than it has before. Uh, you get that technology increase. So I dig it. 180 grains is definitely nothing to slouch at. Yeah, is there a little bit of extra recoil? Of course, of course, absolutely. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Do I need a light or a laser or a red dot? For me, no, I don't. Some people disagree with that statement, but no, you don't need a red dot. You do not need a light on your gun. They're a nice to have, and if you want to throw them on your gun, feel free to do so, train accordingly. Uh, for off-duty carry, I just have a basic light in my pocket, and that's what I use. Now, if my environment or my role changes, then I might have something else. For example, this right here is my home defense Glock. It's a Glock 17, nine millimeter with a light. A little bit of an extended magazine, still a basic gun, but home defense is a little bit different. Well, why do I throw a light on a home defense gun and not an everyday carry gun? Well, a home defense gun, um, if I'm using it, I'm probably grabbing it in a hurry or grabbing it first thing in the middle of the night when I'm still halfway awake going, who the hell is banging on my door or rummaging through my house? Realistically, you're going to fight with what's on you and you're going to be still waking up from that nice deep sleep. So I'd rather have a light on the gun because whatever is on the gun is probably what I'm going to take to the fight. Everyday carry, out and about, I have the gun, I have an extra magazine, I have a light in my pocket, I have other things that I will have on me. I'm probably not going to have that on me in the middle of the night. So that's my methodology. This gun is also a good street gun. What do I mean by street gun? Uh, I read the definition from an officer, he did an article, uh, he was a well, uh, tons of experience this guy. And he dealt with robberies and stakeouts and all that stuff. And he actually had a good amount of shootings, gunfights, to his credit. 
and I can't remember his name for the life of me. It's a good old article, but uh, he talked about street guns. He says people should should carry street guns, and, and I feel the same. A gun that works completely reliable. It's tough. It's basic. It works really well for you. It fits you. You can use it, and you don't mind getting it dirty. You don't mind getting it scratched up. You don't mind training with it, and you don't mind losing it if you get into a deadly encounter you use the gun to defend yourself and of course you know it's going to be taken away for evidence for a long while you may or may not see it again it just depends so i don't mind having this at all in that role it's just a cheap glock tw glock model 22 gen 2 there's still a dime a dozen there's no collector value really to it it's already scratched up i don't know if you can tell there's already scratches in the finish and everything it's just i just use it i mean there's some finish wear in the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I just use it. If I lose it to a evidence room, I don't care. I'm not scared to train with it. I'm not scared to drop it in the dirt and run it hard and do all this stuff with it. Um, I, you know, I, I don't see myself doing that with a huge investment, like a three, $4,000 staccato or something like that. It's just not me. Other people have different mindsets and that's cool. But bottom line is I carry an old gun and I do awesome with it. There's a lot of people out there that will do awesome with it. Beware the guys out there that may have an old gun, but they train with it often and they do well with it. So, you know, don't focus so much on the hardware. I know I've said this before in my video in years past, in my videos in years past, is focus more on the software. Train hard, train for different scenarios. Get out there. I'd rather, I'd rather, if somebody was serious about self defense, get an old gun like this. And then buy 500 to 1,000 rounds versus getting something new with red dots and lights and lasers. Just get something like this and run the heck out of it. Valuable training. Get out there. Learn what it does. Learn its capabilities and just run it well. To me, that makes more sense than anything. So don't knock the people with the old gun. Is it still valuable? Is it still reasonable to carry an old gun? Dang right. Even if it's an old revolver. Uh, there was a period of time I actually carried an old... Um, it was an old Model 10 and then a Model 64. Model 10 38 Special and a Model 64 and was a 327 Magnum. And I carried 38 in both of them, of course. Um, they were both old police trade-ins. And it was funny, and this was years ago when I carried it, because those things came on the market. I mean, you were getting them for super dirt cheap. And people looked at me and go, you really carry a revolver? Some of my friends are like, what the heck, man? You're carrying an old revolver? The freaking thing worked. Zero recoil. It was a cool, it was an old school Smith & Wesson, smooth double action pull. I mean, I could knock out six shots in a hurry. I had, uh, was it the HKS speed loaders that worked really well for them. I, could, I had carried a couple extra speed loaders with me. And uh, it was actually fun. It was cool. I dug it. Uh, was I a disadvantage? Yeah, I was. But I trained through it and I was pretty effective. So in any case... Bottom line, don't knock the guys with old guns. Don't be scared to carry basic old guns. Heck, I have friends that's carried Makarovs before, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, they're not the, the best gun out there to carry, but, you know, I, I just, I don't know, it's kind of style points. If I ask one of my friends, what are you carrying? Oh, man, I got an old Bulgarian Mac in a holster here with some hollow points. I'm like, that's kind of cool. But anyway, feel free to post your thoughts below. Don't knock the old guns, and just be safe out there.